I feel tired just seeing Robertson. He sprints 100 meters per minute. It's extraordinary. The phrase came out from the mouth of special coach Jose Mourinho. This Portuguese man gave praise to Robertson when his former team, Manchester United, lost 3-1 to Liverpool. At the time, Mourinho admitted that he could not interpret more about how brilliant Ed Robertson was. Praises are often said by the opposing team's coaches whenever Robertson played for Liverpool. This 178cm tall man is known as a tireless player. However, to be who he is now, Ed Robertson has already passed through many things. It took Robertson a long time to be able to receive the praises he caught from various parties who were interested in him. Andy Robertson, born in Glasgow, Scotland about 25 years ago. Little Robertson has a dream to become a professional footballer. He was always stunned whenever he saw his idol team, Glasgow Celtic, was playing. In his mind at the time, Robertson wanted to play for Celtic and become a champion with the Scottish giant. His dream started to open when Robertson was 15 years old. At the time, he was already engaged in football. He joined the school club and lined up as a team captain at the age. Robertson had the opportunity to join the young Celtic club. Tommy Burns, who served as head of Celtic youth players development, was interested in his talent. Robertson's initial journey in the Celtic youth team went so smoothly. Like a dream come true, he was so comfortable in the green and white uniform. He was always enthusiastic about playing under the direction of Burns. Burns always appreciated what Robertson did. That way, his relationship with the coach went very well. Burns even regarded as a genius coach because he could see each of Robertson's talents. However, Robertson's relationship with Burns did not last long. Like lightning the broad daylight, Robertson received news that Burns had died of cancer which was eating away at his body. At the time, Robertson was devastated as he lost a coach who had been instrumental in helping him to develop. After Burns' death, Robertson was afraid and anxious that his new coach would not be as good as genius as Burns. However, he tried to be optimistic and believed that his trip to Celtic would still go well. Not long after Celtic youth team coaching seat was vacant, a man from Motherwell arrived. What happens happened. Things that concern Robertson eventually happened. The new Celtic coach who replaced Burns put more emphasis on physical performance. He preferred tall and muscular players unlike Robertson, whose body was not too tall and thin. Not only was he thrown out of the squad, but Robertson was also completely wasted from the Celtic youth team. Robertson was considered unable to compete since his body was too thin. In fact, at the time, Robertson had made efforts to share the trust of the brand new coach. Being thrown out of Celtic was not something easy for Robertson. That was a problem. That was a disaster. Robertson despaired and thought about stopping the chase's dream. After talking with his parents, Robertson again received an injection of energy. He was ready to continue his dreams. But if he failed again, he promised to focus solely on his education. Finally, Robertson joined the Scottish third division, Queen's Park. His former coach at the Queen's Park, Cartner Spears, still remember Robertson's enthusiasm during the training. Cartner Spears saw the blazing face of a Robertson. The boy who was dumped by Celtic seemed to have a burning passion to prove himself as a player who was worth defending. Andy left Celtic when he was around 15 years old and came to our academy. Of course, he was disappointed to leave a club as big as Celtic. I see him three times a week, he always gives 100% in training and competition worth the talent he has. That's the main thing that I remember, said Cardinal Spears. At the time, Robertson did not get paid. That's because Queen's Park was included in an amateur team. This condition was not a problem for Robertson before the age of 18 years. Yet, after that age, the cost of living was no longer paid by his parents. He was confused and frustrated because he did not have a job. One day, Robertson even vented his frustration into a tweet on Twitter. He said, Living in an age like this is rubbish without money. Hashtag need job. Luckily, Robertson at that time got a job in the form of guarding a ticket window for a match. He met with Andy McLennan, one of the important people in the Hampton Park sports complex. 
Without further ado, Robertson immediately accepted the offer. He considered that the work did not interfere with the team training. Robertson works from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and in the evening he trained with Quinn Spark. Although his focus was divided, Robertson was still able to play well. He even managed to impress the coach on his debut. The skills, attitudes, and determination shown by Robertson made him always played in every game. After bringing his team finished third, Robertson then joined Dundee United. Being in the club made his playing skill was getting better. His former coach, Jackie McNamara, was impressed with the performance shown by Robertson. Playing as many as 36 matches, Robertson successfully scored three goals in all competitions. There, Robertson managed to bring Dundee United to the Scottish Cup final. McNamara's forces at the time, including Ryan Colt, Stuart Armstrong, and Gary Mackay Stephen, were openly coded in every Dundee match. However, Robertson was considered the most significant development. A season of defending Dundee is enough for Robertson to attract the English club Hull City. Contracted for three years, Robertson began to expand his wings in the middle of the European football. Steve Bruce, who at the time handled Hull immediately, gave credence to Robertson's. He appeared impressive and won the Player of the Month award. Robertson quickly became an important part of the Tigers' camp. He was considered a player with high loyalty because he faithfully defended Hull under any circumstances. But Robertson's loyalty was not strong enough to stem the offer submitted by Liverpool. His three-year trip with the Hull City Stadium based club paid off in the Reds' oversized uniform. At the time, besides making his dream come true, Robertson was also very impressed with Klopp who did know the background of his life. He did not immediately get the good times in Liverpool. Robertson continued to be a backup and even felt frustrated because he never got a place in Jurgen Klopp's court. At the time, Klopp was criticised because Liverpool's defence was considered not creative. Alberto Moreno, who alternated with James Milner, was considered not to have a good defensive. Until one time, Moreno's injury became a blessing for Robertson. One night at Anfield, during a match against Spartak Moscow, Alberto Moreno grimacing in pain before the first round ended. He was injured and replaced by James Milner. Although at the time it was not him who replaced Moreno, at least Robertson had a good chance to show off. After getting a chance to play, Andy Robertson managed to impress Jurgen Klopp. His hard work paid off, slowly but surely. Robertson gets the main place in the Reds court. Energy, accurate passes, tackles and brilliant intercepts are key for Robertson to turn the views of Liverpool supporters on him. Seeing him dribbling, seeing him run fast, seeing him full of determination, when combing the left side of Liverpool made the supporters excited. Praise continues to be directed to the player with the back number 26. Andy Robertson is ultimately considered Liverpool's best left back at the moment. Praise, prayer and hard work that continues to be done by Robertson have finally given him a sweet result. Although he was disappointed because he failed to win the Champions League trophy against Real Madrid. The following season, he successfully thirsted supporters of Liverpool with a European Champions League title. More than that, Robertson began to be known as one of the best left-backs in Europe.